हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अप द रिमेनिंग प्रॉब्लम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर भूमिन मांडलिया फॉर दिस वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अप द रिमेनिंग थ्री प्रॉब्लम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैड स्टडीड टोटल सेवन प्रॉब्लम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर देर ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस सेवन प्रॉब्लम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स प्रॉब्लम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज रिमेनिंग फिफ्थ प्रॉब्लम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज इज द डिजायरेबल सोल्यूशन अ स्टेट ऑफ वर्ल्ड और अ पाथ टू अ स्टेट नेक्स्ट इज इज अ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ नॉलेज एब्सोल्युटली रिक्वायर्ड टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम एंड लास्ट इज दैट इज द ह्यूमन इंटरेक्शन रिक्वायर्ड सो दिस थ्री प्रॉब्लम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर रिमेनिंग नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द फिफ्थ प्रॉब्लम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक that is the desirable desired desired solution a state of world or a path to a state that means whatever state we are reaching after applying some operator or rule that is uh, the final answer or it is just an intermediate state that we are going to study okay so this thing is going to vary from problem to problem so consider the problem of finding interpretation of a sentence see in some of the cases it may be that like once we apply some operator it will lead to our final solution or we can say final goal state okay and in some other cases it may be possible that if we apply some operator or rule it will just lead us to the intermediate state so consider the problem of finding interpretation of a sentence let us have one example let's say the sentence is that the bank president at a dish of pasta salad with a fork so this sentence we want to interpret this is the sentence from natural language processing as a natural language we are considering english okay so english will be considered as the natural language right now so if we want to interpret this language so in this example the solution is a state that is we need only the meaning of sentence not the way in which the interpretation was found see the bank president at the dish of pasta salad with the fork so directly we are having the we are having a sort of mind that let's say the bank president might be there and he at a dish of pasta salad with the fork okay so directly we will be able to interpret this sentence as my final answer we are not going to have the intermediate state to reach to my final goal state right so see in this case we can say that the problem which has solution of solution as a state of world that means directly we have reached to, to the final goal state okay next is the example of water jug problem in which once we apply some operator or rule and after applying that operator or rule we will just reach to the intermediate state we will not reach to the final goal state so in water jug problem see it is not sufficient to report that we have solved the problem that the final state is 2 comma 0 okay so from 0 comma 0 let's say we are going to first fill up the 4 gallon jug after that we are going to fill the 3 gallon jug so one by one we are going to have all these steps and ultimately we will reach to the final state that is 2 comma 0 so for this kind of problem what we really must report is not the final state but the path that we have found to that state so in water jug problem we will not have the final state directly we will not be able to reach to the goal state directly we will have so many intermediate states and it will form the entire path and that path will lead us to the final goal state right so for this type of problem we will not report one state as a final answer we will have the entire path to the goal state okay getting my point or not so see this problem which has found a solution to a path of a state so this water jug problem will have the entire path to a goal state now see next characteristic of problem that what is the role of knowledge that means role of knowledge that means how much knowledge will be required so see let us consider the problem of playing a chess game so we all know that chess is one of the intelligent game okay uh, a lot of intelligence is required to play a chess well okay so it is not just like a tic tac toe easy game okay so in tic tac toe it is somewhat a little bit easier game because 
um, see it will not require a lot of knowledge right likewise uh, sudoku is also one of the intelligent game okay rummy is also one of the intelligent game so see what is the role of knowledge in particular problem that is very much important see uh, in tic tac toe only little bit knowledge is required in chess a lot of amount of knowledge is required so see assumption is that suppose you have unlimited computing power available now see how much knowledge we will require for this see a set of rules for determining legal moves right first of all we must know that all the rules of chess game we must know that that uh, pawn should move in any of the direction that horse can move in 2.5 steps only right that uh, camel can move in straight direction only okay so all these things the player must know if we want to be good at the chess game so a set of rules for determining a legal moves second is some simple control mechanism that implement an appropriate search procedure so some simple mechanism should be there to implement the search procedure that means we must know that how you will be able to defeat that opponent how you will be able to do the check and mate for that opponent that is very much important and last thing is the good strategy and tactics could help the constraint the search and the speed up of the search procedure so see besides all these things we must have the knowledge that how you will be able to apply the rule and when you will be able to apply a particular rule that is also very much important okay so then and only then you will be able to carry out the search procedure perfectly now see a lot of amount of knowledge is required for searching in this case okay so in chess we must have a lot of amount of knowledge to play the game well now see if we want to have the problem of scanning a daily newspaper to decide the winner and percent of public supporting democratic and republican party in election now see one problem is there by analyzing the newspaper we must know that which uh, party has won the election is it the democratic party or is it the republican party so for that see we must know the name of candidates in each party so see one more thing that a lot of knowledge is required to recognize a solution see in this thing we want to decide one thing so here we want to recognize a solution so for recognition of solution we also require a lot of knowledge okay now the last problem characteristic is that does the task require interaction with purpose that means whatever we are uh, solving the problem whatever we are playing the game is it requiring the interaction of person or directly machine will be able to answer us without interaction of person that is also one very much important characteristic so in this case see it depends on the problem that we want to approach the problem in and solution out see if we are having the problem like directly we are having the problem and solution will be out and directly we will be able to obtain the solution so in that case directly we can say that the system or we can say problem will not require human interaction so for example let's say fact derivation of given statements in previous problem characteristics we had studied one example of marcus so one question was asked that is marcus alive right now so that question can be easily answered by analyzing all the facts okay so after analyzing all the facts we will be able to answer that question so see once we have inputted our problem after that human interaction will not be required directly we will be able to provide we will be able to get the answer okay so human interaction will not be required in that case so see some level of interaction increases in case of game playing see in case of that fact solving a uh, human interaction is not required but in case of game playing playing a human interaction will be required so sometimes a level of interaction increases in case of game playing for example let's say uh, chess is a game in which a lot of human interaction is required at each move once i have taken one step then opponent will take some more step after that opponent will take some more step okay so at each and every step a human interaction is required if 
as an opponent artificial intelligence system is going to play the game okay so if we are having opponent in form of robot or we can say robot will be there in form of opponent so every time human interaction will be required getting my point or not okay so these are the problem characteristics that we have studied okay so total seven problem characteristics we have studied right so thank you for paying your attention thank you students